In this video, we're going to multiply and then add and, sub and add and subtract integers, you know, with PEMDAS order of operations. We'll do these two examples. I'll do this one. Try to get you to do this one. Then I'll do this example and see if you can do this one. And um, here we go. So we have a negative three parenthesis four minus seven, right? So with the order of operations, PEMDAS. And we'll just, on the side of your page, just write it down real quick. P-E-M-D-A-S, right? Parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, and then subtract, right? So we've got to do parentheses first, obviously, right? So inside the parentheses, we have a 4 minus 7. So how do you like to do that? two ways you can just think about subtracting um, you can or so you have four dollars you subtract seven and then you're in debt right have four dollars subtract seven then you're in debt of course you can also think about the number line you're at four and you go back seven you end up at negative three right you're at four, you go back seven, end up at negative three. The other way is we, we uh, can write subtraction as plus negative, adding the opposite, right? So always remember that a subtract sign can be written plus negative. So now we have, any in any case, four positive four, negative seven, negative three. So we've got negative three times negative three negative times negative positive nine right okay press pause write this one down do it yourself negative eight times eleven minus twelve press pause write it down do it yourself and then check the answer okay I'll do it now so we've got to do parentheses first inside there we have 11 minus 12 if I have $11 I subtract $12 I'll be in debt by 1 okay or I can change subtraction to plus negative now it says 11 positives and 12 negatives 11 good guys 12 bad guys leaves us with one negative one bad guy right so negative 8 times negative 1 is positive right okay on to examples two I'll do the first one and then you can do the next one so well we'll do the first one together so we've got a negative three minus four times a negative two minus six so write it down write it down and we've got to do inside the parentheses first so let's start with this one first negative three minus four right If I'm in already in debt by three dollars, and I subtract four dollars, I'll be even more in debt, right? How far will you be in debt? In debt by seven, right? Or you can think, if I have a number line, and I'm at negative three, and then I go back four, I'll be at negative seven, right? Because I'm going back four, subtract four. Anyway, or you might like to do the the blam blam method. Subtraction equals plus negative. So we just go plus negative, and it says negative three plus negative four. Neg uh, three negatives and four negatives make how many negatives? Seven negatives, right? So what's this one? Negative two minus six gives us what? You're at negative two, you go back back six. Or you can think if I'm in debt by two dollars and I spend six dollars, what'll I have? Or you can think negative two plus negative six. 
two negatives plus six negatives is how many negatives? Negative eight, right? So what's negative seven times negative eight? That's a negative times a negative. What's the sign going to be? Sign's going to be positive. Positive 56, right? So now write this one down and do it yourself. It's a 2 minus 5 times negative 11 minus 1, okay? Press pause, write it down, do it yourself, and then I'll do it. Okay, I hope you've pressed pause and tried it. I'll do it now. So with 2 minus 5, I'm at 2. I said go back 5 on the number line. I'll be at negative 3, right? Here's the number line. I'm at 2. I'll go back 5. I'll get to negative 3, right? Or I have $2. I spend 5. Now I'm in debt by 3. Or... 2 plus negative 5, 2 positives, 5 negatives, 3 negatives. Okay. This one. I'm at negative 11. I go back 1. It leaves me at negative 12. Or I'm in debt by $11. I spend a dollar. Now I'm in debt by $12. Or change that to plus negative, And it says 11 negatives plus 1 negative is how many negatives? 12 negatives, right? So now we have a negative 3 times negative 12. Negative times negative is positive and 3 times 12 is 36.